Hello. I think they're called a sunfish. They are a starfish with ten legs. Very common on the west coast. And it's dead. But it's still pretty. <laughs> but sad. Using the beach trail from Thrasher's Cove was an option only at low tide, and our early start saved us from climbing back up the 30 stories to the inland trail. Itchy, 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 man. Look at the little purple prickly thingy. Day two started with a short beach walk to Owen Point, and there was an extensive stretch of some extremely difficult bouldering around the point. Krista ended up with a seriously sprained ankle. Krista toughed out the remaining five kilometers, and using Larry's trusty walking stick, we took turns carrying Krista's pack to the next and nearest campsite, Camper's Bay. Like how far back that goes in your own family? I just know it's it's in our family. So it's. I imagine somebody. Older than your grandfather. Yeah. 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 Well, before we never used to beat on these drums before. It was uh, before we beat on uh, uh, it was a hollow note log. Maybe we hit the very tip of this log here. It'd be like this, but it was totally hollowed up. And then we'd beat on that. We'd, the sound of it was, was really nice. If you go to Victoria Museum, you wonder. We sort of made it a modern day canoe. <laughs> and uh, we put a, a Thunderbird head on the front of it and we painted wings down the side and you can see the Thunderbird head and then in the middle we put a sea serpent and then in the stern in the back we did a killer whale and that's the canoe that, uh, that I canoed up in to go and get my wife to ask her <laughs> or ask if I can marry her. That worked over there. Yeah, so what about going around? on the beach tomorrow when we leave here? Uh, if you know the section, it'd be good. Uh, it's just in the, in the search channel there. The first one, yeah? Yeah, it's just slippery. And if, if you go through there when there's no water, it's all right. But the sun has to be in there for it not to be slippery. Later? So you would have to leave. You'd have to leave two hours before the low tide because you have to make it to sandstone to get down the rock, like nobody, nobody really hikes that section anymore. Oh, okay. And in the rope that's there, it's been there for over six years, and oh, okay. no one's touched it. So okay. I wouldn't. And it, it goes straight up like this. Okay. So I don't, I don't know if you want to go that way. No. Nope. <laughs> nope. The like just getting to sandstone, you have to be. They're two hours before the lowest tide. Good fortune had it, the park staff were staying at the campsite that night and offered to help Krista. Over 200 evacuations are necessary each year. Leave earlier and then when you get down over there, then just help with the packs. And walk up the creek in your sandals and it's easy. 
Nancy's attempts at bannock making were comical, but Trina mastered it by the end of the trip. So, yeah, oh, seven. Yeah. So we'd have to leave by seven. Pretty hard to make twist, a plastic twist, bag. Twist, 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 twist. <laughs> it's almost like a marshmallow, eh? Careful planning was necessary to ensure that the tides would allow for safe beach travel. Advanced planning is necessary for food, medical emergencies, and weather changes, and are crucial to starting a remote hike such as this. Oh, is there lots of scrambling? Or? No, it's like the shelf that you guys did today. Oh yeah, yeah. It's that like that, bad. all the way to Sandstone, except for the surge channel around the corner, and when you get to Sandstone, it's just getting down. It's not hard, but... You have to help each other, like kind of boost each other and stuff. And oh, forget it then. <laughs> <laughs>